Do I have a funny story for you guys or what? So here's the funny story that's actually not very funny at all. I started this reading vlog a while ago and in an attempt to clear footage on my camera, I deleted a bunch of things. And so by accident, I did delete the first clip from this video. I'm so sorry. So real quick, I think I'm just gonna tell you guys what I said in that, just to kind of preface you and set you up for the rest of the video. So here we go. Hello everybody, welcome or welcome back to my YouTube channel. As you guys saw in the title of this week's video, we're gonna be doing reading romance books for a week, but I call it a week, really it's gonna go for probably longer. I mean, I'm a pretty slow reader, I'm very busy. We're doing what we're gonna do, I'm trying my best. And the first book that I am reading, was reading, you guys heard the saga of what happened, is The Bodyguard by Catherine Center. And this book has been on my list for at least a year, year and a half. I heard about this book and everything about it sounded so good. This book basically follows a girl who is the bodyguard and she is sent to protect the celebrity. And he, our, our king, our celebrity, doesn't want his mom to know that he needs a bodyguard. So him and our main girl fake date and everything about that, so good, so fun, so exciting. I love literally every little piece of that. And again, in the clip that got deleted by me, I was talking about how excited I was <laughs> to read it and that I was liking it so far. Wasn't my favorite thing ever, but I was liking it. everyone it's been a few days since i filmed the last clip and i'm a terrible vlogger it would seem because not only did i make progress in the bodyguard but i finished it and didn't update the video i'm so sorry i'm gonna do better with the next book i promise <laughs> i did want to just come on here though and give a quick wrap up of the bodyguard and then talk about the next book that i picked up for this romance reading vlog and I ended up giving The Bodyguard a three out of five stars. And so this book was a book that I picked out thinking that I would really, really like it. And you know, I honestly, I liked it, but there were a lot of aspects about it that I didn't really love. For instance, our main girl, I didn't love her. She was a bodyguard and her whole job is to be able to read people right like and like read a room and read a situation and for that being her profession she was really really slow to reading jack our male main character and that bothered me a little like i know they were fake dating but he was so freaking obsessed with her and it was so obvious the whole time so that was driving me a little nuts and yeah i don't know it had a, again a lot of great stuff and i would still absolutely recommend this book i think a lot of people love it it just wasn't for me i think i just prefer something with a little more depth and to explore themes and ideas just again more deeply so yeah three out of five but we're on to the next read of the video and I think it's gonna be a good one. I am straying away slightly from my February TBR, which I don't usually do. Usually I'm the girly that whatever gets picked in the wheel is what I read, but the bodyguard, I just, I needed something else. You know, I needed another like fun romance. So here we are. I started this book. I'm currently on page 167. I'm honestly having a blast. Like for what it is, it's so much fun. The writing is so easy to read. The characters are a little annoying, just a little annoying. But again, like for what it is, just like a fun fluffy romance, I'm having a total blast, which I, I don't know what I expected out of this book, but I'm definitely having a good time.
Good morning, everyone. It's the next day now, and I don't actually have a ton of substantial updates on It Happened One Summer. I think I read... I don't know 30 maybe 40 pages this morning but something that i've been doing lately is waking up a little bit earlier than i normally would so i have more time in the day to read my books also sorry if you can hear the heater it is rather cold this morning and i didn't want to turn it off to film but yeah i've been waking up a little bit earlier to read because i do work nine to five and then i have a youtube channel i have another side job that i do i have another youtube channel like i am just very very busy and sometimes finding the time to read can be very difficult for me it's my favorite thing to do but i just just am so busy all the time so the last like two weeks I want to say I've been waking up like anywhere from 30 minutes to an hour earlier so this morning I woke up at 6 started reading at 6 30 and then read until 7 30 ish um, I like made some coffee in that time span like not reading all the way through but getting in more time than I normally would because the only other time that I read during the week is when I've like magically finished everything that I need to do. And for those of you who are in a similar position, full-time student, full-time worker, I get it. And maybe test out waking up anywhere from like 30 minutes to an hour earlier because I feel like it's really helping me get through books and just like re-spark that love of reading. I'm still enjoying this. Uh, just a quick little update. It's definitely gotten spicy. So I'll talk more about that later once I know the scope of that. Hello friends. It is a new day, a new morning, and I wanted to come on here because I remember to film another update <laughs> before I finished. It happened one summer. I don't actually remember how much I said about this book in the previous clip, so I'm just gonna assume I said very little. This book basically follows Piper and Brendan, and Piper is like your very stereotypical, like LA, self-obsessed, like does not care about anyone else in the world girl. And at the beginning of the book, she gets into a lot of trouble, and her stepdad ships her off to a little Pacific Northwest town called Westport. Her sister goes with her and Brendan is this just like very stoic, habitual, like pattern oriented, kind of type A sort of guy who is a crab fisherman. And you get to see their little love story. And it definitely does have the whole grumpy sunshine thing. It feels kind of small town, but like coastal small town, which I like. And I feel like the biggest shock of this video is me liking this book more than The Bodyguard. I would have expected it to be the complete opposite, but I am having so much fun with this. And I don't, like I thought I would like it, but not as much as I am. Tessa Bailey in this book, I feel like in romances, there's so much opportunity to avoid fleshing things out. And there's a lot of logistical things about this relationship that like shouldn't work, you know? First of all, Piper is sent to this little town for three months and then she's supposed to go back to LA, right? And even that like is a point of contention that these characters would have. And I feel like Tessa Bailey is fleshing it out so well. Like, like you can really see the stages of their relationship and while to me the characters don't feel the most realistic, like I feel like they really are this embodiment of certain stereotypes, I feel like the plot development and the relationship between these two characters is being done so well. So it's not like a five stars or anything, but where it's at right now, I would totally give this book like a four stars. Like I'm so, so enjoying it. Also, yeah, warning, I mentioned this before, this book does get pretty spicy. I don't know where it would be on the spice scale. I'll try to put a little rating right here. Um, I've never rated books for spice before, so but I've had some people request that I do that, so I'll, I'll put that right here based on my, my best judgment. And yeah, I'm currently on page 274, so I have under 100 pages left to go. And yes, the biggest shock of this video has been really, really enjoying this book quite a bit more than The Bodyguard.
Hello everybody, it's been a few days since I filmed the last clip updating you guys on It Happened One Summer and I finished this book and I don't know why, like literally have not a single clue why I can't stop thinking about this. The second I finished it, I immediately put the second book in this series on hold. And again, I don't think this was anything like super deep or super powerful, but like for what it was and what I needed, it was so much fun. The ending was like your classic like rom com -y situation. It wasn't the most believable, but like I still enjoyed reading it, you know? Like again, it wasn't perfect, but it was so fun and so entertaining. And for that reason, I decided to give this four stars. But honestly, after a few days, like that's the rating I gave it when I first finished it. I might be now thinking like a 4.25 just because literally for days I haven't been able to really start a book because this one was just so fun and it was like exactly what I needed at the time. So this was really good. Next up, this one could be a hit or miss, you guys. I really have no idea what to expect. I figured for the final book in this romance reading vlog, we would tackle, I think this is the last physical romance book I have on my shelf. I was like, you know what? We'll just finish it out, completely destroy the romance TBR and go for it. That book is A Touch of Darkness. I spun for this in my February TBR video. And these, it's actually so funny. I didn't do this on purpose, but both of these were gifted to me from my cousin. So we're just going for it. Emily, this one's for you. This book is a Hades Persephone retelling. And generally I love Greek retellings. That's my favorite thing ever. However, I've read another Hades Persephone retelling that I really despised. It was my least favorite book of 2023. So we're hoping that this one goes better than that. I have started, I'm literally 18 pages in and so far I don't dislike it. I like it like enough. You know, like it's good. It's not like my favorite thing ever, but it's just the very beginning. But yeah, I just wanted to update you guys on my next read before I got too far into it. I've made progress in this book now and I'm currently on page 193. I think I literally was only like maybe 20 pages into this book the last time that I filmed and I went to a cafe and I spilled water all over my book. I don't know if you guys can see but now all the pages are a little like bent and messed up which is driving me a little crazy but it's fine. So far I don't know what I expected out of this book. I feel like that's been a trend. I feel like because this book and the last two books aren't books that I picked out for myself. I didn't really have strong expectations going in. And being halfway through, I'm definitely enjoying this book. I feel like it's a way better, way better Hades Persephone retelling than the last one that I read. If you know, you know. And this book basically takes place in like a world where the like Greek gods are like they've left Olympus and they're living in modern times. And so like all the gods have different businesses on earth. And I will say like, I understand this is a romance, but I feel like it still needs a little bit more world building. Like even explaining to you guys how this actually works, I'm struggling a little bit because I don't think it's been done perfectly. So, yeah, at the beginning of our story, Persephone makes a deal with Hades and she has to fulfill it or be trapped in the underworld for the rest of time. And it's felt a little bit insta-lovey so far, but like I like the characters enough. I like the world. It's really entertaining. Like it's not feeling like anything super, super crazy to me, but again, it's doing its job. And I feel like for the last like several weeks, all that I've wanted to do is just burn through romance books. And I feel like I'm finally coming out on the other end of that. Like after I finish this book, I feel like I can do another genre and not enter a reading slump. So I'm considering it a success. But yeah, so far so good. I definitely like it. It's not like a top book, but it's not like the worst book I've ever read.
Hello my friends, I have now finished up this book and I just wanted to give my final review and then also just wrap up this video. I have had a lot of fun reading romance books over the course, I think it's probably been like two weeks now for how long this video actually ended up taking me. And I think my favorite, actually no, definitely my favorite out of all three books that I read was It Happened One Summer by Tessa Bailey. That one was so much fun. And then I liked The Bodyguard. And then for my final review of this, I also like, I liked it. I didn't love it. I definitely enjoyed it more than the other Hades Persephone retelling that I read. For anyone who doesn't know, I have been referring to and like referencing Neon Gods by Katie Robert. I just really didn't enjoy that book. This one, like it was fun. The plot was pretty entertaining. I enjoyed watching our characters come together. I don't know. I just don't feel like this resonated with me in any particular way. Also, it was a very physical book. And while I don't always mind that, I tend to prefer that our characters more emotional sides get fleshed out a bit more, if that makes sense. So this one felt like a very physical relationship between Persephone and Hades and I felt like it just ended way too quickly and personally there were some things that I would need to flesh out a bit more if I were dating Hades. I don't know. I do know though this is the first book in a series and I thought that it would explore different characters like different mytho mythological no different gods I guess in the Greek mythology world, but it actually continues to follow Hades and Persephone. So maybe that like fleshing out that I'm missing continues throughout the rest of the series. I'm not really sure. So yeah, I liked it. The characters weren't my favorite. The plot wasn't my favorite, but I had a good time, you know, and what more could I ask for in a fluffy little romance reading vlog? So I'm ending, or my final review for this book is gonna be a three stars. It was good, it was fun. I'd recommend it if you like more physical romances if you're more of an emotional girly like me maybe i wouldn't but yeah i had a lot of fun thank you guys so much for watching this reading vlog i don't usually read this many books in a reading vlog usually i'm more of a two book a video kind of girl and also stick to one genre so let me know what you guys thought of this i hope you're having a great day and a great reading month and i'll see you in the next one okay you guys bye